moment, hasn't it? I hope you all are well. I certainly am. Summer has been amazing, and that's why there haven't been any videos recently, because I've been on a bit of a late summer break. The other day, I was on a walk, and I had my umbrella, and it was raining. The leaves were falling around me, and it struck me that it was very much no longer summer. The seasons had changed, and we'd entered a new time. But what that also means is it's been a year since we started Rock Solid videos. I can't believe it. A whole year since we started this journey together with learning online and sharing the good news about Jesus through these videos. And we're in a much different place now than we were all the way back then. And things are starting to open up again and we're going back to school and to work. We're getting to see each other and we're getting closer to normal. And today we're going to start a new series called Meals with Jesus. Now, I love food and it seems Jesus really did too. In the Bible, this book that we have, this record of Jesus' life, it talks about so many different meals that Jesus had with so many different people, with strangers, friends and family. And each meal, each situation and conversation were so important and that's why we have them written down in the Bible. The saying goes, you are what you eat, but what about the people you eat with? The company you keep says a lot more about you than what's on the plate in front of you. And most of us choose to eat with people we love or like or want to get to know better. We choose people we value and are willing to give our time to. And in this series, we get to join Jesus as he shares meals with different people and often quite surprising people. In today's true story, Jesus did eat with some rather surprising people and someone in particular, Levi, a sinner. And we're going to look at the book of Luke from the Bible. And the Bible tells us that Jesus came to save everyone, including people who did bad things. That was his mission. That was why he spent so much time with people like Levi and his friends. And sometimes people like Levi were called sinners. Now, sin in one way is all the bad things in the world. And we all sin. We all do things that make God unhappy, things that are bad. But that isn't the end of the story. Jesus came to help all the people that sin, help them to do better, to fix the wrongs. And Jesus came to fix that in the world. And we don't have to think hard to picture what bad times look like, do we? To think about what sickness looks like. But we've learned that if you're sick, if you're not well, then you need someone to look after you, a doctor, a nurse, someone who knows what they're doing. Well, perhaps in this story, the person that knows what they're doing is Jesus. So Levi was a tax collector. He was born into a people who knew all about God, but he swapped sides and he worked for the enemy, the Romans. And they were the ones that had taken over the land and he took money from his own people to give to the Romans. And Jesus came to town and he told Levi to follow him. Levi was delighted that Jesus would call someone like him. Levi was a cheat and a sinner. He had done bad things and he needed help. So he left everything to follow Jesus and he was so happy that he threw a party for Jesus and invited all of his friends. His house was filled with people just like him. And that made some people very unhappy. They thought Jesus should know better. He should want to spend time with good people like me. But Jesus said, I came to save the sinners. People who think they're good look at what they say and what they do and they believe that that is what makes them a good person. They don't see all the bad things that they do as well and also that they need Jesus just as much as anyone else. The bad news is we all have a sin problem but the Bible has good news and that good news is that Jesus came to save us. However good you try to be, you still need Jesus. So hear that good news, that he came to save us. And I know I can do bad things, that I can sin, but I also know that good news, that Jesus came and he said he was here to save people like me, people like Levi, and people like you. And that is the best news ever. Levi, at the start, didn't love God. He had a sin problem and needed a solution. And that solution is Jesus. Sick people go to the doctors for help. But for the bad things we do, we need something a bit different. 
And for Jesus, that is what he is for us. He is the doctor for our sin, not for our injuries. And as amazing and do as doctors and nurses may be, Jesus is all the more amazing and powerful. And Levi had a sin problem, but Levi had his heart fixed by Jesus. And we can all have our hearts fixed by Jesus because he loves us and he wants to help. Why don't we pray? Dear God, thank you for loving us and for sending Jesus to fix our hearts. Thank you that you had food with Levi and that you helped him. And I pray that you would help us too. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Now next week, we're going to look at Supper at Simon's. So I hope you can join us then. Thank you for coming along today. Goodbye.